Good morning, everyone. So my computer wasn't working properly this morning, so I'm not as prepared as I would like to be. And I didn't realize that I don't have my joke for this morning. I know that saddens you all because I'm very humorous with my jokes that aren't mine. They're just given to me. But um, I promise I will give you two jokes next week. Okay, Um, so um, this morning, after Monday morning coffee, the tech support committee has a meeting right after. Um, Today we have line dance class here in the hall at uh, 12 o'clock. Bingo here tonight, be here and ready to play by 6.15. And uh, on Tuesday and and Friday, sorry, at 9 o'clock, there's Tai Chi here in the hall. And this Sunday is um, Celebration, and that's the Tanglewood Community Church Choir Christmas Program, and that is at 7 o'clock. Next week, on Wednesday, December 7th, at 10 o'clock here in the clubhouse, we are going to have a um, Christmas sock exchange. So basically, what I would like for those who are going to come to do is to go out and buy a pair of Christmas socks. Not stockings like you hang by the chimney with care, but socks like you put on your feet, Christmas socks. And we're going to fill those up with goodies that uh, and we're going to set a limit on it between ten and fifteen dollars. Okay, and um, then we're going to have some we're going to have some food, some refreshments, and then we'll have a little game to exchange the socks to see who gets whose socks. Um, so I'm a very I'm very excited about this, and I hope that we have some people come out and join in this activity. There is a sign up sheet. If you are going to come, the sign-up sheet is over on the credenza. I put it out there this morning. Potluck, December 13th. Please sign up on the credenza. Bring enough food for 12 in your own place setting. December Ladies' Luncheon, December 15th, 2016 at Victoria's Restaurant. That is at 100 Clubhouse Lane at the Spring Lake Country Club. The meals are priced $15 per person. The choices are pork schnitzel. Oh, it's a buffet, so there are no choices other than a buffet. All this is on the buffet. Okay, so on the buffet you can get a pork schnitzel, chicken piccata chicken breast, and a boiled pang gaseous, and that's a mild white fish. So, and like you've heard them say, it is a buffet style, and also, they're going to be having a $15 gift exchange there. Am I missing anything on that? Okay. All right. Um, The Batonk tournament is full, so there is no sign up this morning for that, as it's already full. Um, We only have 10 days left to collect money for the Tanglewood Christmas food drive. We'll be collecting today and next Monday. We would appreciate having all donations and cash or checks payable to the Heartland Food Bank turned in no later than December 7th. Some of you may be leaving for the holidays, but you can still help us by bringing in your donation to Billy at the activity office or to Ruth Barron at 517 Wilderness Circle. With your help, we can supply a Christmas meal to a lot of needy people right here in Highlands County. Bowling. We have a, an afternoon bowling group. They meet on Wednesday afternoon, arrive at 3 o'clock, bowl at 3.30. Sign up in the afternoon bowling book. 
Okay. Uh, next week on Monday after coffee, we will be exchanging artwork at the library. And I believe that is all that I have for this week. I'm forgetting something that I remembered, but I forgot again. <laughs> but I remembered what it was. We also have the blood drive next week. So if you haven't signed up to donate blood and you would like to do so, Please do so. Thank you all so well, very much. Well, good morning, much. everyone. Have a wonderful week. So you know when you see my mug up here, it's almost time for what? Thank you. <laughs> because that's the only time I'm up here. And my mug won't be up here next year for New Year's Eve. There are two girls who are going to be taking it over. I've done it for quite a few years, and I'm ready to hand off the mantle. And I'd like them to stand up there back there, Linda Sewell and Marilyn Jones. They will be taking over next year. Okay, so for this year, our band is Lotella Gold. The ticket price admission is $10 per ticket. And the reason it has gone up, I think Luann explained that before, but you know, when we have a DJ, they don't charge us as much. But when we have a full-fledged band, we do have to pay probably double the price. That's why your tickets are almost double the price. So. We hope it's not a hardship for anyone. Ticket sales will begin next week and will go December 5th, 12th, and 19th. The first week, however, instead of lining up in the back of the building like we always do, you'll be here in the mirror room. So if it's not too hot and you could line up outside, it'll be right after coffee until 1030 each Monday morning, those three Mondays, the 5th, the 12th, and the 19th. Then the other two, the 12th and the 19th, you will line up again back here by the community room. The first, December 5th, is the only change will be in the mirror room. And also the forms will be back here on the credenza. Uh, each table should have a host or a hostess. Pick up one of these papers, and then when you line up, have all, your, all the round tables seat eight people. The tables along the wall will seat 10, but the long tables in the back, we don't put 10 people there because it just gets too crowded. There's only room for eight on the back tables, but I'll have the chart next Monday, and if anyone doesn't understand that, I can explain anything. So you just, the host or the hostess of the table, there is one host or hostess per sheet, per table. Please don't come with five sheets and expect us to give you tickets. It really holds up the line, and the people that are behind you get very upset. So if you could just have one host or hostess per table, I do not need you to bring the badges. Just put the badge numbers in the slot where it says badge numbers. And if you are having a guest... The guest needs to stay overnight at your house, and when you come to get the tickets, I need to see the guest pass. So it's okay if you pick them up early. Billy will give them to you if you just tell her they're for New Year's Eve. So I can't think of anything else right now. Um, this is for Tanglewood and registered house guests, but you must be 21 or over. I had people ask me in the past, could they bring their grandchildren? No, you cannot. You have to be 21 years or older to attend the dance. And also, my phone number is not the one in the book. <laughs> so if you call that one, you might not get me. You won't get me. But I've tried to get change it for the last two books, and I don't know. It just doesn't happen. So... My phone number, it, this sheet will be back here with the, the fill-out sheets for New Year's Eve. This will be back there. This has my phone number on it. My name is Elaine Schmidt, and it has my phone number on. Now, if there are any new people here who have questions or they don't know who to sit with or what to do, we will put you, try to put you with people that either live near you or you know, some people that, that don't, the tables are set for a certain number. 
if you only, if, even if you only have four people and you fill this sheet out, I will assign four more people to that table if it's an eight-person table. So you will have people to sit with, but the new people, if you have any questions about anything, please just copy my number down off this sheet and call me, okay, because I'm happy to answer any questions. I will not be available tomorrow because I am going on the shopping trip. So please don't call me tomorrow, but any other time. And as the, I will be up here every Monday, so you'll get further information on decorating your tables and everything else. But for right now, I just wanted to get this straight for everybody. So if anybody doesn't understand, Linda and Marilyn will be in the back for a little while to answer questions if anybody has any. Okay, thank you very much. Good morning, Tanglewood team. I'm Lynn Arve with Trips and Travel. And I don't know if Elaine and I are shirt tail relatives because my maiden name is Schmidt. Very German, very proud of it. <laughs> well, okay, maybe I'm, maybe I'm a shirt tail relative of his. <laughs> um, speaking of the shopping trip that Elaine is going on tomorrow, we have three openings. If anyone still wants to sign up for that, uh, we'll take your money in the back and Jan is back there to answer questions. For those who are going, be here no later than 6.45 tomorrow morning because the bus will roll out of here at 7 a.m. Have with you a tote that is unique to you because all your many, many purchases will be put underneath the bus so you will need to be able to identify your tote. We have two openings for St. Augustine, which is next week. Uh, this morning, immediately following coffee, we will have our information meeting uh, when we'll hear more about the trip and we'll be filling out our emergency medical forms. But if anyone would like those two openings for St. Augustine, we would love to uh, sell them to you. The Strawberry Festival in March is going well and that's March 2nd, and we're taking money for that, and Luann Wikes is the leader for that group. Solomon's Castle in January, January 5th. Jerry is having that trip, it's $35, lunch on your own. Please pay by December 26th. Tarpon Springs in February 22nd, a cost of $75 which will include transportation, lunch, and a dolphin cruise. We still have spots available. Biloxi is in March, and we would like to have more sign-ups in order for that trip to be uh, able to be run. I normally would not announce things for the next winter season, but we have Key West coming up in November of 2017, and we already have 18 names of people who are interested in going to Key West. Uh, Marilyn has that trip, and she will be glad to give you any more information you would like. Thank you for supporting all of our trips, and thank you to the Decorating Committee for doing such an outstanding job each and every year, and each year they outdo themselves. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm Jay Etherton. I'm here for uh, the... Tanglewood Actors Guild to encourage people to come out and volunteer to put on a play. It will be the first, uh, in fashion show, will be the first week of March. Through that week will be rehearsals and preparation and uh, the show at the end of the week. Now, to be or not to be, that's the question. If you don't volunteer, it will not be. Good morning, Howard Thank Lowry. You. Here with some related information for what's going on in December relative to the Tanglewood Community Church. Billy already mentioned this, the uh, annual Christmas choir program that we put on every year called Celebration. Just to let you know, the time is 7 p.m. here, right here in the clubhouse. It's a two-part program. The first part of it has to do with celebration in various parts of the world some of their customs and, so, and the songs that they might be singing around Christmas time. The second part of the program happens to 
deal with the birth of Christ here in this country, how we celebrate. Uh, there will be music and narration for that. Secondly, um, <clears throat> December 10th, the following week, which is a Saturday, our choir will be participating with about five or six other choirs up in the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Avon Park, which is something they do every year as well. Uh, each choir will put on performing for two numbers, and there will be a combined celebration at the end with the uh, Hallelujah Chorus. That's at 4 p.m. in Avon Park. Then on December 18th, our annual Christmas caroling here in the park. We'll be celebrating that, uh, caroling to shut-ins and those that are sick. And we need people to carol to, otherwise we'll be caroling to ourselves. <clears throat> but we're looking for people also to uh, carol with us. That'll be meeting here in the clubhouse at uh, 6 p.m. We'll be out on the road 6.30 or so, meeting back here afterwards for uh, cookies or donuts or cider or something like that. Uh, one thing you need to know is that if you're going to put a name down for someone to be caroled to, that you need to have called them first and let them know what we're doing so that they have, have approval uh, for us to do that. Uh, there are sheets right now on the credenza for signing up if you want to be part of caroling or if you want to put a name on there. Make sure you call them first. Again, give us a phone number as well. And finally, uh, let you know what that we have our Sunday services here every Sunday at 9 a.m. in the clubhouse here. Uh, we have a new pastor that... Uh, uh, we're very happy with who, who is bringing us the Word of God. So you're welcome for all of that. Christmas service, of course, will be on Sunday this year on the 25th. And Christmas Eve the night before at 7 p.m. All of you are welcome to come and worship with your neighbors. There are so over 200 people that are here every Sunday morning. So thank Good morning, you. Tanglewood friends. Day. I'm Gary Walker with the Tanglewood Outdoor Decorating Committee. Um, today is the day that we will be beginning to set up the uh, Tanglewood Concert of Lights on the lawn in front of the uh, this building here, the clubhouse. Um, I just got a call from James. I didn't answer it because then I'd have to like talk to him and talk to you at the same time to be a bit rough. I know he's out front right now and he's unloading. Uh, our, uh, our wire frames that we use, and uh, then he's heading over to my house to get the rest of this stuff. But I would like to remind you that we are having a 50-50 um, this week, and next week will be the last two weeks that you can buy your tickets, eight for $5. There will be one winner, and I do believe that the prize is over $350 now. Don't know how much it will be. That would depend on y'all. Or, as Frank would say, all y'all. So, uh, we also have a few of the Santa hats left, a minimum donation of a buck and a quarter. And uh, we just hope y'all are having a fantastic Thanksgiving weekend and heading into the Christmas season. And uh, Merry Christmas. Thank you. Luann Whites with the Dance Committee. And I know you've heard for, about from dance already, but we're so excited about December. Not only do we have the New Year's Eve party, which Elaine talked about, on um, Saturday, December 10th, we have Larry Musgrave here. And this is our um, donation toys for tots. Um, we collect unwrapped toys for the small children, gift cards, or cash, and the cash we take the following Monday and um, make more gift cards for the tweens and the teenagers. So if you could help us out, this goes to, to uh, Highlands um, Child Advo Advocacy Program, and um, we would greatly like your help. If uh, you're not gonna 
you don't come to the dance, you can drop it off before the dance. Our dances start from 7 to 10, but we'll be here by 6. You can just drop them off in the foyer, and someone will load them into a, a van for us. And if um, you're going to be leaving before that, you can give, bring money to me next Monday at today or next Monday at coffee or to Bill Ruley. He's back there in the crowd. Um, he, we, either one of us would take the money to um, buy more gift cards. But all the toys and money stays okay, in Highlands Okay, before we uh, get you. into the usual kinds of announcements, there was something that I think you ought to know. I think you can probably tell from his presentation that Dan's a pretty sincere guy uh, from AMS. And uh, just to give you a little idea, Penny stopped over while he was making his presentation. Sorry, Dan, we didn't pay attention. Uh, but while he was making his presentation and told me that uh, when he heard about our hospice project, or I should say uh, the I really began the hospice project, when they heard about it, he immediately wrote out a check for $1,000. So I think... Uh, that's a pretty good idea about the uh, AMS Corporation and Dan in particular. Uh, Billy also asked me to let you know that the uh, newsletter is a little late arriving right now, and she anticipates it'll be here on Wednesday. So uh, if you're looking for your newsletter, come look for it on Wednesday. Uh, the Dog Club will be meeting on Thursday the 1st at 1030, so uh, bring, your, uh, bring yourself along and learn a few more things about your dog. Um, the tech committee was mentioned. They're going to be meeting right after coffee. Uh, Howard mentioned about the caroling on the 18th. We've been doing that for a number of years now. Uh, you'll be surprised and uh, you'll be pleased with the reaction of folks if you join them on their uh, trip around the community on their caroling. Uh, people are so amazed and so surprised and so appreciative of the uh, time that our carolers spend with them. And then the day before that, on the 17th, the Saturday, uh, that's the golf cart parade. A lot of people have been asking, when's the golf cart parade? Well, it's going to be the 17th, uh, which is a Saturday night. And uh, again, there'll be uh, some form of coffee and hot chocolate afterwards. Last year, we really needed it and didn't have it. Uh, so this year, our hometown has stepped up and said, uh, okay, we'll supply it. Uh, you put on the uh, parade. Well... We used to have 100 people in the parade, and we came pretty close to that last year. I'm speaking about 100 carts, I should say that, rather than 100 people. And we're looking forward to that, and next week we'll have a sign-up sheet for you. Uh, and the sign-up sheet, the only reason for that is to uh, have hometown have enough donuts and hot chocolate for us on that evening. Um, I might add that, you know, you don't have to be really tremendously decorated. We have, as you know, a lot of people who do a tremendous job with it. And uh, we want to have that uh, continue, but all you need is a Christmas ball hanging up or hum a Christmas tune or anything like that, and you can join us in the parade. So you don't have to go way out. Uh, I'd like to add my uh, appreciation and, and wonder, you might say, at the indoor and outdoor decorating committees for their work uh, around the community and here in the building. Uh, they all do a great job, and I hope everybody appreciates it and stops by and says hello to those guys. and thanks them for the effort that they have. Most of us who have been here forever uh, remember that it was a big deal when we hung a couple of wreaths on the entry gate, and that was our whole Christmas decorations on the outside. And of course, the committee has done a tremendous job since that time, and they continue to do so. Also, uh, we of course had the garage sale this past weekend, and we want to thank everybody who worked on that, uh, both in the kitchen, the TMAC room, the table set up and take down, and special thanks uh, to Bill Rooley who chaired it and Greg Plank who handled the sales and the setup. Uh, it was terrific. Uh, thanks to all who had tables. Thanks to those who bought things. We especially thank those people, those of us who had tables, and moved it from one garage to another, as we said last week. Uh, on that day, we uh, picked up $600 for TMAC and the activities that they provide to you, both in the donuts and in the TMAC room. And if you brought something up to the TMAC room for sale, we thank you, too. Okay, special events has got their Christmas show coming, and that's on December 11th. It's going to be at 7 o'clock right here. And as I mentioned last week, it's two young Canadians, uh, Paul Roman and Chris Dallow. And both have been here before for showcases. In the case of Paul, he's been here for a show as well. 
Uh, both of them have been opening acts for a lot of famous people, both here and in Canada. And of course, as I mentioned last week, we expect each Canadian in Tanglewood to buy a ticket. Uh, we went all out to get them. Actually, it was a complete accident. But we went all out to get the Canadians, and so therefore we expect them to uh, support us. It should be a great year to end our, a uh, great show rather, to end our calendar year. And you remember, it's still part of your season ticket. Season tickets are still on sale at $70, and they still are a bargain, because you can still miss two more shows and still make out. Uh, make it a dinner and a show. Come out and have a hot dog, hamburger, uh, chips, and all that kind of thing, all at affordable prices. Come a little early for that. Now, I know that it conflicts with the show at the college. The Beach Boys are going to be at the college. However, the cheapest ticket at the college is $55. The most expensive is $99. Our tickets are only 10. The Beach Boys, some of those guys got fired a few years ago. There's a, a, a son of one of the originals, and I think there's a cousin. So they're all substitutes. We have the originals. Chris Dallow and Paul are here, and they are original. They're not substitutes. So we have the best thing going here. So which would you rather support? Something like that or something like ours? OK. Another great event we had this past week was, of course, everybody's birthday. And that was a great job by Mitzi and her group. Uh, those who came and participated, we thank them. It seems like we're thanking everybody here today. We had some exciting games. It was very interesting to see where some people pinned the tail on the donkey and the cow. But uh, it was a lot of gifts, a lot of prizes, and we thank Hometown America uh, for supplying the cakes, which Sybil baked, and the ice cream, and of course, some door prizes. So it was a great time, and as you see these things come up, you know, it may look a little silly or a little unusual. Come out and support it, and you'll be surprised what you'll see. Okay, today in history, in 1582, Shakespeare and Anne Hathaway were married. I don't imagine any of you got an invitation, but uh, I didn't get one either. Uh, in 1925, the Grand Old Opry was on the radio for the first time. In 1942, we had the tragedy at the Coconut Grove where they had the fire and 491 people died in Massachusetts. In 2012, WikiLeaks got started. It released 100,000 confidential diplomatic cables. Now, if you were born this day, uh, you were born with a lot of uh, musical celebrities. In 1943, Randy Newman, the singer and songwriter. 1949, Paul Schaefer, who was the band leader for Letterman Show. Uh, in 1965, John Stewart from The Daily Show. And in 1967, Anna Nicole Smith, the actress and model. This month is Adopt a Senior Pet, that is. Adopt a Senior Pet. It's picture book month, and it's tie one on for safety holiday campaign month. Uh, that's supported by the Mothers Against Drunk Driving. This week is National Deal Week. That's one of Trump's new promises. It's a better conversation week. And today is Cyber Monday. I'm sure many of you are aware of that. Tomorrow is Giving Tuesday. You may not be aware of that. It's set aside for days to contribute to different uh, organizations, either by your time or your money, but it's something that uh, follows Black Friday and all the other things. Uh, but tomorrow, that's Giving Tuesday. And Wednesday is stay at home because you're a well day. So if you want to keep that in mind. Nancy, you seem to have people over there today. Hello? Yeah, here I am. Um, first of all, reminder, we have our Tanglewood mugs. Please buy those mugs so we can cut down on Nancy's time. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel the love? I mean, I feel the love. But anyway, uh, the coffee committee is selling them for cost, and they're $20. Lifetime guarantee. Uh, for those of you who were not here when we had our new resident social um, the other week, uh, if you go on to TWR Times, you'll see lots of pictures of all the people that were there. And Tammy and Billy and Heather, very good sports. If you were not here on that Monday, you will know that Tom McKeever lovingly <clears throat> gave me a red nose because he knew I was self-conscious 
about the Band-Aid on my nose. Well, when I got to the new resident social, several said, put on your nose. So you know Mitzi, our picture taker, was there. So of course she had to take a picture of me and Tammy and Billy and Heather for Hometown America were good sports. And you can see them wearing the nose too. So please uh, enjoy. Uh, I think everybody enjoyed the day. Um, we do have some new residents now. I have two residents that are in the outback. Now, their other half, and I'm not saying their better half, but their other half didn't make it today. So they're going to officially come next week so they can have their husband and get their picture taken and all that. But we do have one couple who was here for a very short time, saw the light, decided I got to come back, and here they are. Good morning, everybody. How are you doing? My name is Earl Boatwright, and this is my, uh, my lovely better half, Carolyn Jones. I'm from South Alabama, and uh, yeah, I am a Crimson Tide fan. Sorry about that. My wife is from Georgia. We met actually here in Florida, in Tampa, Florida, at the University of Tampa, where I was a professor, and she was an MBA student. Ah. Uh -uh. Now, shame on you for thinking that. We didn't date until after she graduated, but I must confess, when I walked into class and I saw this pretty redhead sitting on the front row, I thought, well, I can't tell you what I was thinking. <laughs> We've been married now a little over 20 years. Our primary home is in Tennessee in a community called Fairfield Glade. It's a resort retirement community very similar to Tanglewood, a little bit larger. We moved there four years ago when we retired, but guess what? It's not exactly a lot of snow, so I really can't call us snowbirds, but it's too darn cold in January and February up there for me. So we really are excited to be here in Florida, excited to be a part of Tanglewood. What we like to do, uh, amongst other things, is we like to play golf. My wife will tell you she's a novice golfer, but she loves the game. We also like to play pickleball. And we're also avid dancers, so we're looking forward to some of the upcoming dances here in Tanglewood and looking forward to, to meeting a lot of you and getting to know a lot of you a little bit better. Would you like to say anything? I think, I think you covered everything, dear. I probably did. Thank you. <laughs> the um, ladies will introduce themselves with their husband next week. That's it. Okay, thank you, Nancy. I've got to remember that when uh, Nancy's speaking, every once in a while I put my head down, I understand it whites out the screens at home. So um, I got to keep that in mind. Anyway, uh, that's about it, but plan to take part in things. There's a lot going on, and we have a lot of people back here now, and uh, it helps to make things go well and encourages folks to try to start new things because we want to do the things that you want to do, and uh, so therefore, do that. Uh, remember, bingo tonight. Lots of money to be made there, probably by somebody else. But anyway, make, make the effort. Uh, make a new friend while you're making things, and wave to your neighbors, and have a great week. <laughs>